here comes the story of the hurricane. I'm sorry, Bob Dylan, I just quoted your song. Welcome back, friends, it's Anders. Today we are making the hurricane. This is a classic cocktail that you find in numerous tiki bars around the world, but it's also a classic cocktail that you'll find in New Orleans. In fact, specifically a bar called Pat O'Brien's. That's where I had my first one. It's bright red, it's sweet, and it's dangerous, and you get a gallon of it. I always thought that's what a hurricane had to be, is this bright red concoction that came from New Orleans, but I learned later that there is an interesting story behind this cocktail, and it's a fabulous drink. Truly a wonderful drink. It's essentially a passion fruit daiquiri served on the rocks. Who doesn't like that? Nobody. Everybody loves that. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and let's go make a couple of hurricanes to the bar. Okay, today we are making two hurricane cocktails, but the truth is there are more than two hurricane recipes. Now, some recipes call for an ingredient called fashionola. And what is fashionola? I'll tell you, fashionola is a tiki syrup whose original recipe is long forgotten. The only thing we know about it is passion fruit was the base and it's bright red. So everybody makes their fashionola quite differently. Now, if you want me to make some fashionola, let me know and maybe we can do that in a future video. Today, I'm not using fashionola. Now, some people say that the hurricane needs to be bright red, and so it has to have fashionola. And it's true that if you go to the home of the hurricane, which is Pat O'Brien's in the French Quarter in New Orleans, there they have the hurricane, and that thing is bright red. Most likely, the hurricane was invented at Pat O'Brien's in the 1940s by a bartender named Louis Culligan. That hurricane is different than the hurricane you get at Pat O'Brien's today. Sometime between then and now, they switched over to a premix so that they could make hurricanes quicker because there are a lot of people in the French Quarter who want hurricanes and this was just easier to get it out to the public. Now, why was the hurricane invented? Well, imagine this, you're in the 1940s in New Orleans and whiskey is in short supply. However, one thing that there was plenty of was rum. Now, bars wanted whiskey because that's what people were drinking. That's what most of the cocktails they were mixing called for and they wanted whiskey. So the distribution companies came up with this idea. They made a deal with all of the bars and they said, okay, you can have one case of whiskey if you order multiple cases of rum. So now the bars are stocked full of rum and they need to sell it. So they come up with this drink at Pat O'Brien's called the Hurricane. There are some sources that say the Hurricane was first created in 1939 at the World's Fair in Queens, New York. The only thing we know about that drink is it probably had rum and it was served in a hurricane glass. We don't know who came up with it. We don't even know if it actually existed. So that's why we consider Pat O'Brien's Home of the Hurricane. Now for the two cocktails I'm making. The first one is gonna be closer to the original 1940s recipe that I love. This is my go-to recipe for mixing up a hurricane. The second one is also very, very good, and it's more like what you would get today if you were to order a hurricane in New Orleans at Pat O'Brien's. It's got a few more ingredients, a little fruitier, kind of fits that profile, but it's not bright red, and it's not ginormous. It's manageable. Now the booze. For my go-to recipe, we're gonna want Jamaican rum, dark rum, fresh lemon juice, and passion fruit syrup. I'm using two rums. If you want, you can use one rum, that's fine, but I would recommend try mixing rums. If you mix tiki drinks, you know what I'm talking about. In this case, I'm mixing Smith & Cross, which is a higher proof Jamaican rum, with a rich Gosling's Black Seal rum, and together they work great. On to syrup, passion fruit, homemade, easy to make, but if you absolutely cannot be bothered and you want a store-bought alternative, I would highly, highly recommend Liber and Company Passion Fruit Syrup. This stuff tastes pretty much exactly like my homemade recipe. The texture's a little bit different, very delicious. These guys actually won my store-bought grenadine showdown and they've got a hurricane recipe on their bottle. This is not the recipe we'll be doing today. So if you want a third recipe, check out this bottle. On to recipe number two. We're gonna want white rum, aged rum, passion fruit juice, orange juice, fresh lime juice, and grenadine. Two more bottles of rum. So now we've got four bottles of rum to make two cocktails. You may think that's ridiculous, but I say that is actually a good way to use rum. You can grab any of these bottles over at my collection on Kiriata. So check that out. These are 13 ounce hurricane glasses. Most of them are 20 ounces. If you have a larger hurricane glass, then double up the recipes that I'm about to give you. Why am I still talking? Let's build. 
I'm gonna start with my go-to recipe, recipe number one. We're gonna start with the passion fruit syrup. So the other ingredients are gonna wash the jigger out. One ounce of passion fruit syrup, one ounce of lemon juice, one ounce of Jamaican rum, and one ounce of dark rum. All equal parts. Recipe number two, the Pat O'Brien's inspired hurricane. Let's start with the grenadine. One quarter of an ounce of grenadine, quarter of an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of orange juice, one ounce of passion fruit juice, one ounce of white rum, and one ounce of aged rum. Now is the part where we add ice and shake. I'm adding lightly crushed ice. You can add small pebbled ice. Whole cubes are fine. You can even blend this up. It's gonna be good. I'm gonna shake it up. You don't have to shake these too long, 10 seconds or so. And open pour right into the glasses. Top it off with a little bit more crushed ice. And here you can garnish them however you'd like. Be creative. For the first one, I'm doing pineapple fronds and then a wind blown umbrella. And for the Pat O'Brien's recipe, I'm going to garnish with an orange wheel and a cherry and another wind blown umbrella. A couple of straws. There we have two variations of the hurricane. I'm gonna start with my go-to recipe. Cheers. In all honesty, nothing like what you're gonna find at Pat O'Brien's today. Bright, tart, passion fruit and lime, deep, caramely, funky flavor from the rum. Outstanding, that's wonderful. <laughs> Onto the Pat O'Brien's Inspired Hurricane. Mm -hmm. This one has more of a, uh, a punch aspect to it, kind of a Hawaiian punch. I think the orange juice with the grenadine, but this one I noticed the booze more. A little bit more disguised in the Pat O'Brien's. Oz, you wanna try these? Sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's real good. Zingy and tart. Mm -hmm. Hurricane number two. It's all right. This is just kind of more like fruit juice, mm -hmm. but in my humble opinion, I think number one is superior. That's just me though. This one is more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> We're shitting on our own. <laughs> yeah. But it does It does this taste is, like yeah. the Pat O'Brien's. Okay, like. so if that's what you're looking for, then maybe try number two. Right. Should I be here for the sign up? Sure. Okay, okay, okay. All right, thank you, Oz. You're welcome. I recommend trying them both. Pick your favorite. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers. All right, see you later, bye. <laughs>